Hello and welcome to Edsel Ford High School. The purpose of this video is to explain student procedures for face-to-face -face learning. Before coming to school each day, parents are responsible for taking students' temperature prior to coming into the school building. Please stay home if you are experiencing any symptoms of illness. Make sure you bring a clean cloth mask or a new disposable mask to school. Students should also bring your charged Chromebook along with a backpack, school supplies, and a water bottle. There will be no lockers in use at Edsel Ford. All Edsel Ford staff and students will wear facial coverings when inside the building. Facial coverings or masks can be homemade, manufactured reusable, or disposable level one grade surgical masks. Homemade and reusable face coverings must be washed daily. Disposable face coverings will be disposed of at the end of each day. Students returning for in-person learning will have an A and B day in-person students whose last name is A through G will come to school on A day. In-person students whose last name is H through Z will come to school on B day. All students will remote in for live synchronous classes every Wednesday. Regarding bus transportation, all of our bus routes are up and running. Parents are responsible for taking students' temperatures at home prior to coming to the bus stop. Students are asked to remain home if they are experiencing any symptoms of illness. Students will be required to wear a mask on the bus. Masks will be available on the bus in the event a student doesn't have one. This year at Edsel Ford, only two doors will be open for student and parent access. The front main doors closest to Rotunda will be open at 7.50 a.m. each morning. The back bus doors closest to Pelham will be open every morning at 7.50 a.m. Students will not be allowed access to the building prior to 7.50. Parent drop-off and students who walk to school should enter the school through the main doors in the front of the building closest to Rotunda. There can be no parent car drop-offs at the bus entrance doors. In our hallways at Edsel Ford, we will maintain social distancing as much as possible, up to six feet. Hallways are marked with arrows for directional flow. Students will need to travel through the building socially distanced. Floor markers and signage will be used at six foot intervals where line formation is anticipated to keep physical space in hallways, offices, and other areas in the building where students and adults typically gather. The classrooms will be set up slightly differently this year. Classroom furniture will be arranged for maximized spacing, maintaining three to six feet of social distancing all teachers will complete a seating chart for every class to assist in contact tracing. Classroom seating charts will be important for students to follow. In the event that we have a positive COVID case, we will need to refer to these charts in order to determine close contact tracing. Teachers and students should not be sharing personal items, writing utensils, calculators, Chromebooks, and other school supplies. When possible, physical education classes will be held outside and social distancing of six feet will be practiced. We will not be utilizing lockers this year at Edsel Ford High School, except for PE lockers, which will be utilized during gym classes. All bathrooms at Edsel Ford will be locked during passing time. Lower A Hall bathrooms will be open and manned by security for social distancing students. Floor spots are placed by the restrooms for proper social distancing. We ask that everyone practice good hygiene, including hand washing, 
before exiting the restrooms. We are asking students to bring a water bottle from home each day if possible. The oral water spigots are shut down and will not be in use this school year. However, our water stations will be available for you to fill up your own personal water bottle. We have many office areas at Edsel Ford, including the main office, the student office, counseling office, and media center. Students will be asked to practice social distancing and follow floor markers in all of these office areas. Students should remain behind plexiglass when inside office areas throughout the building. Snacks will be delivered daily to third hour classrooms. Students will eat the snack in the last 15 minutes of class. Students will not leave their third hour classroom. After the 15 minute snack break, Students will place any remaining food or garbage in a special trash bag that will be provided. Our custodial crew will come around and dispose of these food trash bags daily. Normal food distribution will continue every Wednesday, that's asynchronous days, for families and students. In regards to hygiene for all students and staff, in our classrooms, where hand washing stations are not available, hand sanitizer will be provided. Soap and hand sanitizers will be systematically and frequently checked and refilled. We ask that everyone properly wash their hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. We are asking all students and staff who feel the need to cough or sneeze to do so into their elbows or to cover with a tissue and dispose of that tissue immediately in the trash. We would also ask you then to wash your hands using proper hand hygiene techniques. Learning Labs will be offered at Edsel Ford every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. There will be no Learning Labs on Wednesdays. Teachers will share more information with students in regards to attendance at Learning Labs. When exiting Edsel Ford, you will use the same two doors, the bus doors in the back of the building and the main doors near the front lobby of Edsel Ford. All students will need to vacate the building promptly after their last class. Students will not be allowed in the building after 1250 unless they have been invited to a learning lab. We are all eager to return to face-to-face -face learning and we can assure you, Thunderbirds, that school staff are working hard to keep school a safe place to learn. We will all need to do our part to keep our school and each other safe.